parcels just arrived for me. I think I know what it is, but uh, let's open it up and uh, have a look. There's a telescopic antenna there. So, what have we got? We've got another SA4732. This one's uh, slightly different the case, uh, the, or at least the markings on the case. Let's have a quick look. Okay, so it's um, pretty much on the front identical to the uh, the one I've had the problem with, um, which incidentally I'm still waiting to hear from the supplier. Um, if I don't hear in three days' time, I'll be on to uh, eBay, try and get a refund. Rear panel of this has actually got a model number on it. Okay, ATS20. Um, other than that, it looks uh, pretty much identical. It's interesting that none of these are actually branded with a manufacturer's name. Who wouldn't want their name on their product? That always strikes me as a little bit odd. Anyway, let's uh, turn this one on and see whether it looks like it's going to work. Right, let's flick the power switch on the back and see if it'll uh, boot up. See if there's any charge in it. I think there is. There we go. Version 1.5. Okay. Quite an old uh, version of the Arduino sketch. Again by PU2CLR. That's uh, Ricardo. Um, when I reflashed my other one that I had issues with, I think the sketch was on the 2.06. Okay, so as the other one did, it uh, defaults to the FM band on the power up. Let's switch down a couple of bands, let's go uh, 10 meters. Let's try the mode button here, if you remember on my other uh, receiver. Okay, that didn't work, and I had to, uh, I had to repurpose one of the other buttons. Let's uh, switch in the mode. Yeah, and it looks like that's going to work. So we've got LSB, and we've got USB. Okay, and if we press the BFO, the encoder wheel, we can step down, All right. and you'll probably see, obviously at the moment, the encoder on this one looks okay, it's switched to a 5 kilohertz step and so on. So, what I advise, what I'm going to do with this, and I advise anyone that buys one, is, is to use it. Now in the past I've been guilty, I've purchased things online, I've put them to one side and I've, you know, started using them weeks or months later. Can't do this with these. Um, this needs to be used, just used normally, not abused in any way, but used, used as a receiver, used with the various modes, using the encoder wheel to see whether it's going to exhibit the same problems that the other radio did. At least it's clear that I haven't got the bridge pins issue, if that was the issue on this one. My mode button is working, and at the moment my encoder's working. So let's see see how long it lasts. Um, I suspect um, I won't have a proper S meter looking at this display. Um, when I um, upgraded the, the sketch using uh, Ricardo's latest Arduino sketch. It gave me a little less meter with the chevrons. This one hasn't got that. Again, we could flash the Arduino, but for the moment I'll try and run this as it is and just see how it works. So there you go. Um, this this was this one was on order before I experienced the issues with this one because I thought this was a great little radio and I thought oh, I'll, I'll have another one. But obviously we got problems with this one hoping this one's better and just a little last look at the rear of this one we've, where we've got quite a lot of extra script we've got a model number but no manufacturer's name so you've got nothing there but we have got this uh, ATS uh, 20 on this one so wish me luck and uh, I'll keep you informed we'll uh, have a few short videos of this actually connected to an antenna see how it performs on SSB, see if we've got any kind of S meter, I suspect not, but we'll have a look. 
and uh, yeah, I shall uh, keep you updated. Thanks for watching.